Sports are a given in Chris O'Connell's day-to-day life. 95.7 Game, what's your name, where are you calling from? Whether it's producing Sports Talk Radio at 95.7 The Game in San Francisco or training for American Ninja Warrior, it's easy to see his love for athletics. But it's what you can't see of him that tells his story. I think I was three years old when we found out, when my parents found out, and then I found out that I had a congenital heart defect. O'Connell stayed away from any strenuous activity until adulthood. My doctor had always told me to take it easy with my athletics and pushing my heart. I barely did any workouts before I was 21. It was that age that Chris saw a new doctor who then gave him the green light to begin working out his heart. And after 21 years of sitting on the sidelines, Chris wanted to see what he was made of. For the first half of my life, I was always being told to slow down. So, and the hardest thing out there is American Ninja Warrior. So I said, let's do that. For three years, Chris trained for his chance at a spot on the show. I wake up, train, go to bed, train, train in the middle of the day. There's a lot that goes into preparing for American Ninja Warrior. He was just about ready to send in his audition tape, all while his wife prepared to birth their first child. I wanted to try out for American Ninja Warrior and I find out I need my second heart surgery. I was supposed to be in there for three days. I was in there for 11. My wife stayed by my side the entire time, sleeping on a cot when she was eight months pregnant. It was during that time his son Kevin was born, leading to yet another obstacle life had thrown his way. At his two week checkup, that's when we found out that he needed heart surgery too. Like Chris, Kevin was a heart warrior too. I gotta slow him down. He's also my little ninja, he joins me at the Ninja Warrior courses all the time. I see him uh, swinging on all the bars. Eight years after the birth of his son, the two shared the national stage together on American Ninja Warrior. O'Connell came up just an obstacle short, but if his story has taught us anything, overcoming obstacles is what he does best. Still have yet to hit the buzzer, so next year I'm going for the buzzer. I want to be on the top of that wall. You can do anything you put your mind and you put your heart to. Yeah, so Chris and I worked together down at 95.7 The yeah. Game. For months and months, I had no idea of his story. And then one day, he just tells me, hey, I'm going to be on American Ninja Warrior this week. And wow. then I find out the rest of his story. Right. Great guy and a really good story.